as far as being a mom, I definitely want appropriate stuff to, be, you know, wear out in public where the kids are going to see it. Controversy tonight following a pride event held in Bartlesville. Thank you for being here tonight. I'm Carol Marson. And I'm Erin Christie. Tonight, the city council is taking action. Two News anchor Sharon Phillips explains why the council voted to direct the city attorney to begin drafting an ordinance regulating adult entertainment in public places. The debate was sparked after a pride event was held here at Unity Square Park and it featured a drag show. Following the event last September, a petition began circulating online that received 2,000 non-verified signatures, asking the city council to take action. In part, the petition requested to determine if this activity violated any state laws, city ordinances, or city contracts for use of public areas, and if so, to take appropriate action. If no laws or ordinances were broken, the petition asked the council to study the issue and consider a new city ordinance to prohibit adult-oriented activity from happening in a public area. Michelle Mullins, who lives in Bartlesville, says she supports drag shows and the performers, but feels there is a place and time for them. As far as being a mom, I definitely want appropriate stuff to be, you know, wear out in public where the kids are going to see it. I'm not against drag shows at all. Um, you know, the, the, the people that put it on, they're very talented. Um, I just believe there's a proper place for it. We reached out to Oklahomans for equality following the council's decision. I don't think that the people who had pushed this complaint forward really have a clear understanding or thought about the broadness of what it is that they're asking. How exactly do you define adult entertainment? Where is the line? When do you stop allowing people to utilize the public spaces that were specifically made for those types of gatherings? We also spoke to the city attorney who says he has been given 120 days to draft the language and will also be seeking outside counsel with First Amendment knowledge. Ballard says the desire is not to go after the city, but they are there to make sure every person in Bartlesville is equally represented and has the ability to have events and host celebrations like everyone else. For Mullins, she says it's not about the performance, but where it's being held. And I could understand if they had it in more of a, uh, like at the community center or something like that and advertised it as an adult event. Um, but out in the public, maybe not the best idea. In Bartlesville, Sharon Phillips, 2 News, Oklahoma. And the Bartlesville chapter of Oklahomans for Equality sent us a statement saying in part, this historical attempt to infringe on our First Amendment rights will cost the city dearly, not only in the massive time, but also in tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars and will ultimately fail in court. You can read their full statement at KJRH.com.